Welcome back. I want to continue the conversation around advanced use cases of Copilot for Microsoft 365. And I want to continue using Copilot for Teams meetings. Now here I have a Teams meeting that I recently attended. And after the meeting, I clicked on Calendar and Teams here, and I clicked on the Recap tab of that meeting. Now this meeting was recorded and also transcribed, so I'm also enabled for Copilot for Microsoft 365. So Copilot took some notes uh, in the meeting here and also captured follow-up tasks, action items. Well, clicking on the Copilot button here allows me to then get into a conversation with Copilot, not only during the meeting, but after the meeting as well. So some of the things I love to talk to Copilot about is just to get feedback about the meeting. So for example, here you can see I asked the question, list different perspectives by topic. Now there are only two people in the meeting, so there really weren't any diverse perspectives. However, if we had a very interesting meeting with multiple people and they all were engaging and they all shared different perspectives, well then I can ask this and Copilot will say, well yes, yeah, Sally had this perspective, John had that perspective, Diane had this perspective. I can then put that to a table. I can then capture that into my OneNote. So that can be very useful. But one of the prompts I love is I had some coworkers attend the meeting late. They joined 15 minutes wait, what did they miss? Look, I do this all the time in the real world where I join a meeting late. I then click on the co-pilot button and ask it questions like, what did I miss? And here it tells me exactly what they missed. Now, I also love doing this for when I'm presenting so I can get kind of feedback. It's like having a coach attend the meeting and give you feedback. So for example, I can click on more prompts and I can ask things like, what questions are unresolved? So when I, if I'm presenting, did anybody in the meeting ask a question that I never answered? This is fantastic. And again, just in terms of following up after the meeting, this allows me to capture all of those unanswered questions. Now notice in the response here, it, it, it's aware of the content of the meeting because there's a transcription. So it's, and the meeting was around Copilot for Security, so it's actually going through and citing those unanswered questions. And if I hover over the citation here, it tells you exactly where in the transcript it's pulling that from. So that's really cool. So then I can take this a step further and say something like, suggest follow-up questions. After the meeting, maybe I want to send a follow-up email. What kind of questions can I ask after the meeting in my follow-up email? Now look, I ask really dumb questions, and look, sometimes that's okay, but Copilot can help me ask better quality questions. So you get the idea, folks, just I challenge you, after your next meeting, come into the meeting here, click on the Copilot button, have a conversation with Copilot, use it as a way to gather feedback about the meeting, use it as a way to capture action items, use it to get as much information and context about the meeting as possible. This can really help you be more efficient. All right, if you found value in this, please hit like and subscribe and stay tuned because I've got a lot more videos coming on advanced use cases for Copilot in Microsoft 365. So we'll chat soon.